Whitfield! Yes, sir? Or... Justine, was it? That's me. Alright, Miss Justine. You're doing just fine so far. At least in defending yourself, that is. This test is meant to measure your ability in active combat. The simulator here is programmed to keep attacking you. But that doesn't mean you keep defending yourself the whole time. Understood? I understand, sir. I apologize. <sighs> no need to. That said, get on the offensive and show me what you got. Alright? Got it. Anyways, the room number is 152. If you forget, our name is even written on the door. But I don't think you'll have that much of a problem. <sighs> Make yourself at home. Hmm. You're not saying anything. No, it's just this place really sucks is all. What is that supposed to mean? Everything near the Order Building is so nice and high class, I mean, and you also work there. So being out here is sort of out of the way for you. And Dad told me he was giving you extra to help you out. So don't tell me you can't afford something nicer than this, Daniel. Actually, the apartments near the OB are high in demand and still cost like 60% of my weekly pay to manage. Not to mention, after phone and insurance bills, that only leaves 15% to buy food with. Bring myself to spend what that a tight wad. Apartment? When I Daniel. Uh, huh? Whatever your reason, can you just tell me where my room is? S second door on the right. Right in here. Huh. Not that bad. It looks like the people Dad sent just set up your furniture and nothing else. Fair enough. That's not too bad. I'll set up the rest now. Hey, Dan? What? Thank you for letting me move in with you. <laughs> Trust me, I was against the entire idea. Um, is that clock correct? Uh, it should be, I guess. Why? With all this moving and stuff, I got behind on some paperwork back in the office. It's due later today, and I can't waste any more time. That said, I'm going now. Uh, Whoa, see you later, wait. bye! Wait, Daniel! <laughs> so, does this really mean... What, we're working what? together now? <laughs> I really hope not. Yeah, I guess that doesn't sound too great now that I think about it. <sighs> now, did I put it in here? Huh, I did. Dear Miss Whitfield, we are pleased to welcome you into Order's most profound fielding unit. Along with your dedication to keep the universe safe, You've committed yourself to a respectable career with few others who've dedicated themselves to do the exact same and much more. And we have trusted you to do the same. 
We look forward to meeting and working with you. Please report to Mr. Jack Pupkin's office in the fielding corridor of the Order Building for a personal orientation to your newfound career. June 26th and 12th p.m. Just two hours from now. <sighs> if I were anyone else, I'd consider this letter a miracle. Working in the fielding unit is a huge honor because of how hard it is to get admitted. But I didn't even want the job in the first place. <sighs> Come on, Justine, look at the bright side here. One job is better than no job, and even though you're going to live with your dullish brother, living anywhere outside of that prison of a home and doing things independently is a blessing. And I guess it was your goal since high school to work in the Order Building, even if you did end up in a completely different unit than you expected. Uh. The Order Building. When I was in grade school, we were taught that our known universe is separated into five realms. Each of them are extraordinarily different in geographies and vary in advancement. For example, while some realms are just establishing stable civilizations and discovering simpler ways of doing everyday work, others are perfecting incredible new technologies and creating fashions that will change their world drastically. And at the center of it all is order. The only realm where the dominant race has special abilities that enable them to travel the universe, create and control the power of light and darkness, and much more. It was just 75 years ago that the people of Order realized their abilities were above the rest of the universe and took it to their advantage. They wanted to use their powers to watch, regulate, and most importantly, protect the universe to the best of their abilities. And thus, the Order Building was established. It was coined the center of the universe because of how positively it changed everything since then. Realms with knowledge of order never argued or challenged their deeds, and realms yet to discover the existence of their fellow worlds haven't realized how protected they truly are. The actual order building is separated into three special units. The survey unit, which keeps close watch over each realm to note any suspicious or new societal activity. The medical and technological research unit, which studies and documents advances in each respective field. And lastly, the Fielding Unit, a group of elite individuals who travel to different realms to fix any problems the Survey Unit discovers. But people in the Fielding Unit are considered masters of their abilities and in leadership. I didn't even major in Fielding Studies in college, nor did I seriously consider myself even slightly qualified for the job. <sighs> it's hard to believe how I managed to get in. If I didn't know better, it would have had to have been a mistake. Justine? Justine, are you there? Uh, at least I think this is the right place. I hope I'm not wrong. Marion! You're here! Y yeah As soon as I heard you were moving away, I had to come check it out. Well, it definitely isn't much to see, but it is home for now. Are you kidding me? It's wonderful! At least, I wish I could afford a place like this. Being wealthy does have nice benefits. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget how spoiled I am sometimes. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. This is quite a step down from your old house. But I'm not going to be quite so privileged in the future. And what do you mean by that? Daniel and I have been begging mom and dad to stop giving us handouts since we began college. When Daniel moved out last year, we finally managed to get our parents to stop babying us. Although, Dad enforced that he would at least pay the rent for this apartment for two years as a final gift. And after that, we fend for ourselves! Finally! <laughs> You're the only kid I know who'd be thankful for being cut off from her parents. Anyways, I came here because I wanted to show you what I got in! Just look! Name, Marion Wilson. Order unit assigned. Medical research and practice. You totally deserve it, Marion. I'm happy for you. Thank you. You got your papers too, right? I can only assume you got in. I did, but don't get too excited. I didn't get into the survey unit like I wanted to. I was assigned into the fielding unit. Wow, just like Daniel, right? Yeah, just like Daniel. That's pretty amazing, actually. How? 
The two Whitfield twins, both skilled in common alchemy and talented enough to make it into the famous fielding unit? Everyone already knows your parents for what they did in their field. It's like you two are carrying the alleged torch of greatness into the next generation. <sighs> Lawrence, rise and shine. <sighs> it's morning, isn't it? Yep. Did you pull an all-nighter again? After you left last night, I just wanted to finish off this paperwork before I hit the hay. Must have dozed off after a while. Well, this paperwork is due today. So get some coffee from the lobby or something. And let's get this stuff done as soon as possible. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan, Dan. Trust me, Marion, I think you're overanalyzing the situation. I'm not exactly elated about this. Uh, sorry. At least you can't say you didn't get in at all. Anyways, when's your orientation? Uh, about an hour and a half from now, last time I checked. What about you? Later today at 6. Am I taking too much of your time? Well, uh, well, I... No, don't worry. I just wanted to check in to see what you were doing is all. Just call me when you get the chance, all right? Yeah, of course. I guess I only have enough time to put on some makeup and put on something a little more professional than shorts. I guess this is as good as I'm getting for now. <laughs> just keep thinking positively, Justine. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> I've been to the Order Building a million times before when I was younger, but it figures as soon as I work here, I lose all sense of direction. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the uh, building corridor might be... Ah! I, uh... Oh gosh, sir, I'm so sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. If I would have seen you, I wouldn't have... No, it's okay. I was just standing in a crowded hallway anyway. I should have seen this coming. Do you need me to get you a napkin or another cup of coffee or... No, thank you. W well, are you positive? Because I... I'm fine. Oh, all right, if you say so. But, um, would you mind helping me then? Helping you? Yeah. I'm actually a bit, uh, lost. Can you by any chance tell me where I can find Mr. Jack Pupking's office in the fielding corridor? Oh yeah. It is around that time of the year they bring the newbies in. You said fielding unit? Yeah, Mr. Pupking. I think he's my new boss. Why do they hire someone as clumsy as you in fielding? Don't you think that's besides the point? Yeah, whatever. Alright. I'm in fielding as well. So I know exactly where you're heading. Do you see that hallway over there on the second floor? Uh, yeah. It will lead down a hallway into the fielding lobby with a bunch of offices. Near the far side of that area is your boss's office. There's a sign, so you can't miss it. Oh, alright. Thanks. Now are you sure about your- Let it go, newbie. Okay, bye then. Jack Pupking. Fielding Director and Supervisor. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. Huh. It is around that time, isn't it? You're Miss Whitfield, correct? Yeah, Justine Whitfield. That's me. I'm not early, am I? No, you're right on time. Take a seat. All right. Whitfield. Is it safe to assume you're Daniel Whitfield's younger sister? You're almost right. We're actually twins. Daniel just graduated three years ahead of me, is all. Oh, yes. How could I have forgotten? It's not every day you meet someone as young as 16 that qualifies to enter the fielding unit. You and your brother must be very talented indeed. Well, sir, talented wouldn't be the best word to describe the both of us. If anything else, I consider myself lucky enough to get this job, not talented. Talented, lucky, whatever you might call it. 
This doesn't change the fact that out of the 50 people who applied specifically for the fielding unit this year, you were the only person who managed to qualify. E only one? The higher-ups bumped up the standards to qualify for the job. The only way to pass the admission test for the fielding unit now is to go above and beyond what's normally expected. I thought the only reason I got in would be because the fielding unit was desperate for new members. This has to be a mistake. This has to be a mistake. Mr. Pupkin, I... Now, I know you're at a loss for words right now, but take this as a sign. You'll make a great addition to the team. Think positively. I myself can't wait to see how you do on the job. I have high expectations for you, Miss Whitfield. Think positively. That matter aside, let's get down to the formalities. This is a folder containing some basic information so we can put it into the system. Phone number, place of residence, birth date, the works. Do it when you get home, then submit it into admissions when you start tomorrow. I'm also assigning you to your new team. You'll be spending a lot of time together, so I'll let you get acquainted now. I've assigned you to Team C. I think you'll fit well with them. Ask them any and every question you have about the job. They will also be taking you on an introductory mission around the universe so you can get a feel for things. Nothing too intense for now. Their office is not too far from here. Just look around for office number 52 and they should be inside. Too many damn newbies. You see this, Dan? They get so lost, they run into people with burning cups of hot coffee in their hands. That could have happened with anybody. I wouldn't blame them just for being new. Yeah, well it hurt, so let me complain, will you? Go ahead, then. This girl who ran into me immediately asked where Pup King's office was. I know this place is big, but does it take a mastermind to read a map? You're right. Damn those newbies. Shut up. She asked for Pup King? She must be newly employed to the fielding unit, then. I can only assume. I could have sworn I had my spare shirt around here somewhere. I skated by last year without introducing a new member, but twice in a row? Do you think we'll get a new team member this time around? Well, we do have a third desk in here collecting dust. I wouldn't be surprised. Plus, it wouldn't be too bad. Do you really want another year of dealing with just me as your teammate? That would be a plus. Get the door, Lawrence. I don't want to get the door. You get the door. You're already standing up. You get it. You're close to the door. You get it. You're making them wait. Now go on. But I'm still recovering from my fatal wound. It's a coffee burn, you idiot. There's nothing stopping you from getting the door. Fine. How about we get the door together? Are you serious now? Now or never, Dan Dan. Hello, Hello you, you must, must be... be... Our, Our new, new teammate. teammate. My new team. Ah. Hi. My name is Justine, and I'm new, and I guess we're working together from now on? Uh, I start tomorrow morning, and you guys are taking me on an introductory mission, I think. So I'm rather excited and looking forward to working with you two in the future. I understand you guys may be hard at work right now, and I have some things to do at home, so I leave you alone and maybe get to know you more tomorrow. So, so bye then! <laughs> well, she's spirited. spinning. There's so much to process right now. I just feel like locking myself in my old room with infinite cheese fries and a huge blanket and staying there till I wrap my head around this. Huh? Is that the man who interviewed me? Maybe he can answer some questions. Um, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Oh, you're Miss Justine Whitfield, huh? Yeah. 
You remembered me. You assigned me to the fielding unit. If you don't mind me asking, why me out of everyone else? Why you? Jack must have told you that you're the only qualifier here. Yeah, he did. I was worried it was a... a mistake. Do I look like someone who makes mistakes, Miss Whitfield? You're right, sir. My mistake for doubting you. Anyway, good luck with your new job and all. Thank you, sir. Well, she's spirited. Believe it or not, that's the girl who dumped coffee on me. It must have been the reason she was so nervous. Poor girl must have thought I was mad at her or something. What's the matter, Dan? You look just as shocked as she was. I know her. Oh? She's... actually... <clears throat> My sister. <laughs> Your sister? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Justine Whitfield. Hmm. You want to say something, don't you? Not really. She's just kind of cute, is all. Justine. Uh, what? Ah! I'm ready, Daniel. I didn't fall back asleep like usual. I was just gonna ask if you wanted breakfast. We have a long day ahead of us. Are you making spicy bean patties? Ugh. If you want. Oh! I'll be out in a minute to help you then. My apartment complex planted a bush of foreign flowers just a few months ago. They're actually an exotic plant from the jungle realm Larka. Nothing is inherently special about the plant per se, but its ability to change colors supposedly based on their mood. The way they are treated the day before determines the color they bloom the next morning. Although the act of actually taking the time to see how these flowers feel every morning is sort of stupid. It's calming for some reason. White is the color that signifies either neutrality or sadness. It was cloudy yesterday, so they must have missed out on getting a fair amount of sunlight. The color they bloom when they're happiest is a dusty pink color. Although, I haven't seen that color come from these bushes yet. Daniel? Oh, sorry. I was distracted. That's alright. What were you looking at? Nothing special. You send spicy bean patties? Yep. Ever thought of eating breakfast food for once in your life? Hmm. Nope. So, uh, what's this introductory mission thingy that you're taking me on today anyway? It's exactly what the name implies. We, your new team, take a newly employed fielder and show them around their future workspace. Fielder? It's a casual term for people who work in the fielding unit. Easier to say. Oh, uh, did you find that can of beans yet? Yep. And by future workspace, you mean? The universe. Gotcha. Although, the mission only includes traveling to the main four realms we work with most. Larka, Memory, Earth, and Mako Knowledge. Oh, uh, how much jalapeno do you like in these again? Just two this time around. Two slices. On it. No, no, two jalapenos. 
It's up to Lawrence and myself to explain how to act in each row and show you how to use resources and the geography to the fullest. It's a lot of information to take in. It also serves a benefit to the original team as well. Not only are you getting a feel for the workspace, we're also getting to know how you think and work in the field. It seems insignificant, but the three of us are going to be working together all day for each and every workday from now on. Learning and understanding each other from the get-go is imperative. How quaint. The Whitfield twins joined at the hip again! This is exactly what I wanted. Though the mission itself isn't really a mission at all. What do you mean by that? Nothing really happens. We just wander around all day aimlessly. Once you get assigned a real mission, that's when the real introduction for the job starts. Any questions so far? Huh. Just one. I was acquainted with a few fielding unit majors back in college. I asked them about the classes they took, and surprisingly, none of them mentioned taking classes that covered any realm besides our own. You're right. Fielding majors really only take one introductory class for the basic realms. They don't cover much, nor go into much detail. Why did you bring that up? It just seems off is all. If the fielding unit spends a fair amount of time working in each realm, why not teach more about them? When I was studying in preparation to get a job in the survey unit, I took countless classes that focused on just one single realm. But people in the fielding unit travel to each realm on a day-to-day -day basis, yet know next to nothing about them. Well... Um... They want us to be void of thought when we carry out our mission like mindless zombies. <laughs> to be put radically. But really, it's just unnecessary. The order building wants us to focus on our performance skills and leadership than anything else. Any details we need to know about the realm we are working with are included in our mission's paperwork. Paperwork. Shit. <sighs> you forgot to pick up the introductory mission paperwork I told you to get last night, didn't you? I was on my way to get it, but <sighs> I was really hungry, so I thought... Whatever. We can use this to Justine's advantage. She doesn't know where the admissions office is, so... Now she'll know exactly where to go in the future. She also has to turn the paperwork she filled out last night. As well... Two birds, one stone. We can head over there right now. It's not too far from here. Follow me. So, uh, ye always been this way? Well, I said uh... follow me! Justine, huh? That's me. So, you're... what? Dan's twin sister? Actually, I'm... Whoa, yeah, that's right. We're both 19 years old. Looks like you're used to correcting people, huh? People usually think I'm the younger sister all the time. How did you know we were twins? I know Danny Boy here is 19 because I work with him. And although his stale behavior reminds most people of someone twice his age, you seem a bit more suiting for a 19-year-old. Another generic question while we're on the topic, why'd you choose fielding? I... didn't. It was just sort of a mistake. I don't make mistakes! <laughs> I guess you can say the career chose me, actually. I was shooting for the survey unit, but ultimately ended up here. Chose you? If you didn't want the position assigned to you, I'm sure you could have declined. I... could have. But I guess something inside of me said the fielding unit was too good of a position to decline. <laughs> Plus, I was just reading this really interesting book about a charitable and cunning hero protagonist, and I thought the idea would be pretty cool, you know? I guess that's an alright way of thinking going into this, but you wouldn't say working in the field is exactly We're like- We're here! All you need to do is approach the woman at the desk and state your name and say you're picking up a mission. She'll give you a stack of paper and it will have all the information we need. Lawrence and I will wait out here for you to return. <sighs> so cards on the table here. Someone doesn't accidentally get into the fielding unit just like that. How is she here? Although it may not seem like it, her work is cut out for her. At least, based on what she told me about her interview. Did she somehow ace the written portion? <laughs> and what? Did she manage to take down that impossible battle simulator? Well, 
Yeah. That's pretty much what happened. Huh? She really beat the battle sim? Miss Whitfield, a large envelope arrived for you this morning. It appears to be from the Order Building. From the Order Building? Oh, and it's a big envelope, too! You know what they say about responses from places like this and the size of the envelope they send back. This has to be my acceptance letter! I'm so excited right now! Me, Justine Whitfield, an official member of the survey unit. After all that time I spent studying, uh, it's so worth it! <laughs> well, I'll leave you to celebrate alone for a while, Miss Whitfield. Lunch will be in a little while. Maybe you could share the good news then? Ha, huh, you know them. Survey isn't too much of an accomplishment in their world. But I might as well tell them anyway. <laughs>